Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, so today we're going to speak about Smart Connect and how to install the plugin. So, let's get to it. Okay, so you have Smart 7 open and you've got the example conservation area here. So log in with the username smart and the password smart. First thing you do is obviously you left click onto login and it will start the process of validating the user. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to file and install new plugins. So as we left click on that, a window is gonna appear in front of you. And at this option here, work with, we click down this on this drop down arrow here, and you'll see there's a whole bunch of extra things here. So the first thing is to note this smart core update site. So we click on that and it will load all the potential plugins. So I'm just going to select all and click next. So this is going to take the process of calculating the requirements and dependencies, but the main one that we're looking at for to have added is this Smart Connect option. As you can see here, there's all the stuff will show you what's going to be installed. You click Next. You make sure that you accept the terms of license agreements and then you let click finish. So you might have these kind of things, security warnings, but you left click install anyways. And in the bottom left hand corner, you will see the progress. So each time you have a security warning, just click install anyways. You will see here that it's almost complete. As you can see here, the software the, so the software has been updated. So we left click on restart now and it will reopen smart back the login screen. So now it's just making the changes, inter initializing the database changes. And if I click advanced here, you will see now there's these options to import a conservation area from Smart Connect or sync multiple. That means I know that the Smart Connect plugin has been installed. Cool, thank you.